Hello and welcome to episode 102 of Do You Expect Us to Talk? I'm your host Becca and as always I'm joined by stylish dudes Chris and Dave. How are you doing? Good evening folks. Good evening. Yes, I'm uh, currently looking up the metric system, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Telling whether or not to eat your way out with cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, possibly. Well, yeah, dipping my french fries in mayonnaise. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Which I think all, all, all the while... We're not going to be trying shoving up watches up our ass. <laughs> we'll try. We can't promise. <laughs> <laughs> but how can we tell time? You have to bend over. To... No, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> um... As if you haven't guessed, people, we are reviewing Pulp Fiction. Well, the thing is, if your pants are already down because you're going to bend down to see what time it is, just go outside. You can use your knob as like <laughs> use your knob as a sundial. Stop it, dude. If your pants are down and you need to know what time it is, go outside. Just not at night. You'll probably be arrested, and it wouldn't work anyway. Yeah, you, yeah, but you, you wouldn't be arrested in the, in the day, though, would you? Cops will come over. Think, what are you doing? I'm uh, trying to tell the time. Oh, fair enough. Uh, watering the plants. What does it look like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What? That'll be much better. <laughs> that, that'll get that'll get me off the charge. Some. <laughs> that won't get you arrested. What, it? No. If I'm outside trying to tell the time with my dick. Right? The police come over and you're like, shit. How do I get out of this? It's all right, officer. I'm having a wank. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Thanks. Would you like a contribution to the reporter's benevolent fund? <laughs> Not that kind of contribution. Oh. Yeah. I've gummed up quite a few of those sort of tips. <laughs> 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 but coins, in. coins tend to bounce off in my local Tesco now. <laughs> Okay, this has taken a turn for the unexpected. You're not controlling this, Becca. It's entirely your fault. You brought this on yourself. 